Hi, welcome back to the channel. So today is another project share for the um, new release of the Scrap Diva Designs dies that just came out February 1st. So I'd like to share with you a couple more that I've made. Um, first off, let me show you these little cuties. These are called, this is called the Bear Gumball Machine Add-on. So it's got a little thing of the bear. I don't have the gumball machine, so I just made cute little bear heads. Look how cute these are. So you have the option to make it a shaker, and I did on both of them. And then it comes with the, uh, you know, all the face pieces. I layered everything on foam and um, filled it with shakers, and I just put a little cute little bow on the top. And then same thing with this one. This one's filled with some heart shaker bits. Look how darling that is. So cute. Love this one. So those are from the Bear um, Gumbama Sheet add-on. All right, and then next I made some of these uh, round, round gift box. So here's the die set. And it comes with all the pieces that you need to make that. So <clears throat> the first one I made, I just tried, you know, just put together with some, just some plain cardstock just to see how it worked. And I did, I made it without um, the hole, so you can do that if you want to. If you don't want to have the round um, hole there where you put the shaker, you don't have to put that in if you don't want to. But it just opens up like this. And it's a good size, cute little box. Okay. So that's just like the first one I put together just to see. Sometimes I put together things. <laughs> first off before I do anything and other times I just go you know all out and make it the one I'm you know make the one I'm really wanting so then I did another one just started playing around and um so I just put a few layers on here it doesn't come with layering pieces but I just kind of trimmed them down a little bit and layered them and then um inside here I put some really some of these really big um hearts and it still gives you um quite a bit of room inside there to put something else so that's cute so I didn't finish decorating this or anything I just I just these were just first couple that I was just playing with to see what I wanted to do so there's that one and then this one um, I shared on my Instagram so this one I made out of this pretty paper and then I for the border piece here I used some of that uh, real chunky um, uh, it's a glitter paper uh, can't remember what these are called. Um, yeah, I can't remember. But there's some, there's some paper that I have that's got these really, it's just covered with all this, like, these little pieces. And so I just used that to cut out the little border, and then I put a little um, gold um, bow there. I filled it with some sequin, just some, you know, heart sequin mix. And then on the side here, I punched some holes and then I just attached some tassels and beads and stuff. So I think that turned out really pretty. And then you just open it up like this. And again, it can hold quite a bit inside there. So that's what the inside looks like. Okay. And then I made another one that I decorated. So this one I use the um, main squeeze paper that I have, and it's the thin paper. So I um, layered it up on, rather than try and, like on this one, I tried to just trim it down and layer it on top there. This one, I layered up on paper and just cut the, everything out together. So, because it's, it was the thin main squeeze paper. So I um, stitched it all. Stitching makes it turn out so, um, like sturdy, it gives it such sturdiness having that, that um, stitching in there. So there's the inside. So I stitched it all around and again I made it a shaker. I almost forgot to make it a shaker. I almost, I in fact I did glue it all down. I had it all done, my, my, um, my piece inside here 
and I had to stop and peel it back off. I forgot to put anything in the shaker part. <laughs> so anyway, I just stuck some tiny things in there that I could because I kind of just like pulled it up and um, and just poured stuff in there the, the best that I could because I didn't want to ruin it because I had done all the stitching and everything. And then I just used some um, ephemera pieces, which I don't have any ephemera from it, uh, from this main squeeze collection. Um, but what I have been doing, the ones that I did have, I have been laminating. Like, so this is from the cutout sheet that I had for sale. And I just cut the pieces out and laminated them all so that I could use them as ephemera pieces. So there's one of those there. And then just some, you know, hearts here and there. This is a pick that I had in my stash and I put it on top of the Dollar Tree pick. This piece I cut out from one of the um, squares and again, it's laminated and I just, you know, have some rosettes and there's a, a heart um, crepe paper rosette back behind here. It's almost covered up and just some little trim, little hearts and a flower. So I think it turned out pretty, but this is so cute. I love this box. So fun. So anyway, that is a, that is my other project. <clears throat> and then lastly, I used the coin purse. So this is what it looks like. It comes with the words um, cash money and they have the, um, what you call it, the shadow piece to them. And then there's some like little coins too that you can cut out. I didn't use any of those, but um, yeah. And you can make it a shaker. I didn't make this one a shaker, but I love how it turned out. So this one, I, um, it's the coin purse, but I used the bag maker to make it a bag. <clears throat> now I could have also just made it a box with the new um, <clears throat> box maker set that Erica has out now too. <coughs> Let me show you this. <coughs> Excuse me. I haven't used it yet, but this could easily have been used for that. I should have done that. Um, but what I wanted to do was be able to like close the, make it 3D, but I wanted to be able to close it up here. Okay, so that's the reason I used the bag. Because then I could just, you know, pinch it closed like that and it wouldn't hurt the thing. So anyway, and then I attached Velcro in inside so that it would hold it closed. So my coin purse could be closed. So there's that. Okay, and then I, I used this such cute little, um, I did a collab with um, BB Craft a while back, and this is some of the stuff that I ordered, this pretty little chain, and it's got all these like pastel lips on it. It's so cute. It's kind of dainty. I just thought it would be perfect for the handle, for the, for the purse. So cute. And then I just, so I used a 110 pound, white cardstock on the back for, for the first layer and then an, the pink layering layer and then the third layer um, I use the um, I cut with the pattern paper and then it comes with this gold piece right here that does the trim right here okay and then I just decorated I did some more um, this is some of the more the lami laminating pieces I told you about um, let me show you a bunch this is what I do with when I have thin paper that I love, <laughs> I just, I laminated this. So I cut out, you know, a bunch of these pieces from the cutout sheet that I had. Some of these aren't cut apart yet, but anyway, that's what I did. Just cut them out, laminated them. And then I also um, cut some of these out and just laminated the purse uh, pieces in here. So I need to make another one using these. But yeah, that's what I like to do when I have thin sheets that are hard to use. Unless um, I either laminate them or I just layer them. Like this one, I didn't laminate. This isn't one of the laminated ones. But since this this die had the layering pieces, I was able to just use it. And you'll never know that it's a thin paper. So anyway, here's a piece of the a ticket. That's laminated. I put some um, trim under there. This is this puppy sticker 
for the um, main squeeze collection. See, all I have for that collection is like a couple sheets of paper. I have, I have a uh, was it six by six or six by eight pad. I can't remember what it is, but I've used almost all of it. And then I have like a one pack of these puffy stickers and like three designs of the big yeah, 12 by 12 paper. That's the thin stuff. And so that's all I have for the collection. And so <laughs> you've got to find ways to be able to use it because I love it. And of course you can't find it. Um, so anyway, so this bear is one of the uh, piece that was on one of the cut aparts um, that I cut out and then, you know, has laminated it. And I just put some uh, 3D bow and this is a flower made by Lori and um, some little sprigs back there. And I put some hearts little sprig there and some flowers so I think it turned out super cute I love this I have to make another one now because Rosalind of course said I want one Grammy <laughs> so I gotta make her one which how cute I mean this could be used for so many different things but can you you know make it a little princess one or a unicorn one or something for a little girl and you know put some fun stuff inside love it so this is my favorite project so far um out of this that i just used i just love how that turned out so anyway i have a little reel that i did about it and i love it so i gotta make some more because it's so cute and anyway that is my shares for today oh and then i did make a cute little keychain to go with my purse so i just layered up some stuff on top of it i think it turned out cute i was gonna attach it and then I didn't, but I still can. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna attach it to the side and let it hang there. I think that would be so cute. So there are these projects. I will be back soon with some more. Thank you so much for watching. I will make sure that I um, link Erica's website, um, my affiliate link. I'll list my discount code down below, which is Polka Ten. Make sure you use that if you decide to pick up any of the dies. It'll save you some money at checkout. And I will link all of these um, also so they'll be easy to find for you. And yeah, I will be back soon. Thank you so, so much for watching, everybody. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.